Z-Mass Productions Nerd News, episode 13. Woo, lucky 13. I'm Luke, and that's Jeremy. Yep. You already knew that. Maybe. That wasn't a joke. First up on uh, video game news, we have No Man's Sky. A yep. ton of stuff. Yeah, and game's looking good. Basically, PC Gamer had an uh, interview with... Hello Games co-founder, Sean Murray, and he divulged a lot of information. Because they were wondering, how do you play a game with over 18 quintillion procedurally generated planets? The simple answer, you do whatever you want. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of the game, <laughs> is to explore. Yep. And the game has stuff for doing space combat, ground combat. It has a bunch of sandbox elements, obviously, because yep. what else is the game going to be? Yeah. <laughs> is that big um, and it's got a bunch of resource gathering along with a lot more other stuff you can do lots of basically it, they're, the whole point of the game is to kind of simulate a galaxy mm -hmm. and that's why that seems like an awful lot of planets but yeah but still and part of the reason why there's so many planets and stuff like that because they don't want to tie down the player because a lot of times in sandbox survival games, you just get obliterated early on. And you never get well, started. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is. It's kind of so you have that openness to do what you want yeah. for a little bit while you're getting better at the game. I, I just hope that it doesn't turn out that 18 quintillion planets and four of them are different. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad for things and stuff. So yeah, he, they broke down essentially just that. Yep. Also, you can trade, and by that, he means sell shit to NPCs. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be much player-to-player -player interaction in this game. Nope. Uh, but at the same time, they found it interesting that a lot of people decided to go into trading. Well, yeah. The, to make their money. Yeah, the, um, the immediate goal is to make yep. money, and the easiest <laughs> and least resistance is through trading, I yep, would imagine. And, and, and amazingly, it surprised a bunch of the devs. Wow. Well. Because they didn't expect that to be the big thing that everybody goes for. They thought that people would start doing combat and exploring and killing shit. And instead, they were trading. <laughs> I don't find that at all surprising. No, we don't. Because we're in that type of world yeah. playing those type of games. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to do it. And also, there is going to be kind of a progression. Because you're not going to be able to just go everywhere right away. Well, no. You obviously. Have, you, you have need a to range. Get, yeah, you need to get better items to yeah. do so. Which makes sense. And that's all we have. Go, what's new on No Man's Sky? So, what's next on video game news? Bombshell, a game oh, I've never snap. heard of. Me either. <laughs> Until <laughs> it's this a week. <laughs> 3D Realms' new project, isometric action RPG shooter <laughs> thingy. Quite the mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like a twin stick shooter, except mm -hmm. on a PC. So you aim with the mouse. Yep. There, there. It's not a unique concept. I've seen it before. Yeah. But 3D Realms, good company. They made mm -hmm. Rage, good yep. game. Uh, they made well, obviously they made a bunch of like yeah. Doom and shit they, like that. They made a lot of so. what they call Twitch shooters. Yeah. And so they're trying to capture that feel in that type of a top-down RPG world. And from what little I saw off the trailer, it looked like they're kind of getting it right a little because it was pretty fast-paced. Uh, essentially, the game itself focuses on a character by the name of Shelly Bombshell Harrison with a cybernetic arm that doubles as a weapon that she shoots people with. In their faces. In their faces. <laughs> and then there's also some melee attacks in the game and some grenades. Cool beans. <laughs> and we'll have a link to the article thinger dinger mm -hmm. down below and their trailer. Yep, which has probably been playing right here this whole time. Most indubitably. That's it. Next up on video game news, we have Grand Theft Auto Online. Apparently, Rockstar has announced that they're focusing more on that than they are on Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Makes sense. So therefore, there will not be, most likely, any extra DLC for single player. For single player, yeah. That's important. They, Although, what they've been doing is when they, <coughs> <laughs> when they add <laughs> guns and stuff to online, mm -hmm. they also add them to single player. Oh. And the, the prices and stuff <coughs> stay the same. So they're still just like stupid expensive in single player. Because mm -hmm. the rest of the guns are cheap. Well, relatively speaking. <coughs> like you'll have a machine gun that's, you know, $10,000. Mm -hmm. But you'll have one from one of the expansions is $120,000. Because in multiplayer, money scales differently than it does in okay. single player. They have a lot more control over how much money you get in single player yeah. than they do in multiplayer. Yeah. And if you are worried about not getting more stuff, obviously on Tuesday, they're releasing the free mode events still. Yeah. Are coming for you, so that'll be coming out pretty soon. Oh, yeah. There, the, I think once you beat the story mode, there's not a whole lot to do Yeah. in, in single player except for drive around and kill people, which <laughs> now you can do online, <coughs> and other people will try to kill you too. So yeah. <coughs> it is slightly more fun. <coughs> slightly more challenging too. Only I've slightly. Seen. Finally, on video game news, we have a birthday. Yep. PlayStation can almost drink. <laughs> yep. It turned 20 years old in American. In American? <laughs> PlayStation of America turned 20? No, PlayStation just turned 20 in America because that's when the PlayStation was launched in America in 1995, September 9th. Happy belated birthday, PlayStation. Close to a year you are still, After it you are in still the inferior console. <laughs> yeah. It's tough being a second child, though, can I say? Unfortunately. <laughs> but that makes me feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> I never I had owned the original. A, I never owned the original. <laughs> I had the original. I did have a two. But I think I didn't have the original until like a good two or three years after. Well, I mean, and then I had it for a few years before PlayStation 2 I was a Nintendo kid, so... Yeah. But I also had like over like close to a thousand games for PlayStation, so <laughs> which I didn't keep because I didn't realize backward compatibility. Sure. Oh well. Oh well. But yeah, that's it for video game news. So next up is movie news. And for our first story that happened this week, mm -hmm. uh, Christopher Nolan is continuing his relationship with Warner Brothers. Yep. Uh, and his next feature film will release on July. 21st, 2017. Yep. There's, and that's pretty much all we know about Yep. It. There's no known information beyond that other than when the film will be releasing. It's going to be slightly confusing to old people because <laughs> all of his movies are confusing to old people. And it's not really going to make any sense once you think about it. Yep. And if it has to do anything with physics, Lawrence Krauss will tear it apart again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. We know the entire movie now. Yep. It's going to feature a... And an actor, <laughs> and possibly an actress. Yep. Hopefully one of color, as he doesn't have many in his movies. Nope. Racist. No, not really. <laughs> yeah. Next up, Batman vs. Superman news. Mm -hmm. Jesse Eisenberg said some stuff. That is yep. a really serious movie. Mm -hmm. There's it's, no cartoonist stuff. It's for serial this time. Yep. It's well, that should be the tagline. It's, it's very Batman serious. Batman versus Superman. <laughs> it's well acted. Serial. It's well written. And a well directed movie. And well, it's really course, phenomenal. Of course he's going to say that. He's in the fucking Exactly. Movie. He also said that it's written by a dude. Chris Terrio. And it's his first, his next movie after Argo. And said that he was a brilliant writer of characters. Of course he's going to say that. He's a character in the movie. Exactly. Basically, all of this doesn't <laughs> matter. But there you go. He said it. Yep. But then on the next thing for Batman v Superman news, the rumors of there being lots of Batman in the movie happened. What? That was a very terrible sentence. I know it was. That? WB and Snyder have confirmed that there's going to be more batman centric city in the movie. It's going to be a Batman movie. Pretty much. Well... That it's not called Superman versus nope. Batman. Nope. But so it makes sense because Batman is their most popular character. Yep. And and Superman already had a movie. Yep. And they're introducing him for the first time in this new universe. Batman. So it's not much of a surprise. Not Superman. Yep. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Wonder Woman news. Wonder Woman news. Which we have even more news on top of this news that came out just before we started filming. 
apparently. I'll state it after. But yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's going to be multiple timelines in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the earliest, or at one point, it's in World War One. Yep. So that's at least 100 years, because mm-hmm. it takes place in modern times, too. Yep. I assume. Yep. It's going to be real expensive if, if mm-hmm. it doesn't. Those cars are getting expensive. But it really helps to confirm the fact that she is going to be a demigod. If she's been living that long. <laughs> and then that goes on top of... Now, the news that goes on top of it is they just announced a rumor that apparently Sean Ben... Dean. Dean. Whichever way you want to say it. <laughs> the correct way, preferably. <laughs> and uh, Ava Green have been rumored to be playing villains in the Wonder Woman movie. Their names rhyme. Mm-hmm. They do. Which makes me excited because Sean Bean would be an amazing Ares... Does Ares die? I don't know. Well, I we'll mean, in the out. comics. He dies multiple times, but he's a guy well, so he always comes back. That is amazing for Sean Bean. <laughs> that he exactly. can keep coming back. Every every movie, they can kill him, and he can just keep coming back. And then Ava Green makes me excited for one reason. I hope she gets to play Cersei, who's a villain from Wonder Woman that not many people know about, but she's like one of the main villains, because she's like an evil sorceress. And I could just see Ava Green pulling that off perfectly. Yeah. So, she could do that. I'm hoping that that's what, who we're, what we're getting if they get she, cast. She does good, bad people. Yep. And if saying it's a timeline type thing, those are two characters that are pretty much immortal. So they, they work perfectly well for that long of a stretch of time. Yep. So yeah, that's it for DC Movie News. What else happened this week, Lucas? Star Wars stuff happened. See what I did there, I did. Lucas? I did. And that's what I accepted it. Because <laughs> I don't like being called Lucas. Anyway. <laughs> Noted. I shall forever call you Lucas. Anyways, but Star Wars is releasing on December 17th in the UK and December 18th here. Those assholes. And so to commemorate the fact that it's 100 days away, which is now less because it's happened this week already. <laughs> They released a bunch of new posters. Yay! Links below and probably scrolling. Right they here. have a stormtrooper and a Yeti and a Wookiee and a other Star Wars. I don't know. I haven't actually seen them. Yeah. They're all right. I, I'm assuming there's a stormtrooper and a Wookiee and, uh, you know, and stuff. Other, there's a Star Wars on it somewhere. Indeed. Are there any stars? I think so. Are there, might are be. there any wars? Could be. <laughs> how, how helpful. Anyway. I don't think you're going to see all that on a poster. <laughs> well, why not? Have a couple stars and a ship fighting another ship. Star Wars. Shades of Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of robots on a poster. <laughs> uh. but yeah, anyway, also, last Friday, uh, they launched their toy line. So, if you haven't noticed, you might have been, you might start seeing some toys around. Yep. At local stores. And on Tuesday, they announced uh, that they're going to be doing some reshoots in Ireland. Yep. Although now it sounds like it might not actually be reshoots. Yep, it might actually be shooting for the next film. Or it might be both. It could be both. It could be a tail end that's going to tie in. Yeah. And then they're going to launch from there. Yep. So, but it was around a bunch of uh, monuments and other stuff. Like older like monasteries and things like that. So, cross your fingers, might be Jedi Temple stuff. Because the Jedi Temple looks totally like a 15th century monastery. Good. In video games, it kind of did. I don't give a fuck about video games. <laughs> Krampus movie. Krampus. But yeah, the Krampus movie. The trailer. It, it launched, at least. Did it whatever. give you a Charlie horse? No. Kind of like a cramp, Krampus. Get it? Yep. Krampus does have hooves. Well, yeah. Krampus is like a goat demon guy thing or yep. thing or goblin thing. <clears throat> yeah, it's a horror comedy following a child and his dysfunctional family on Christmas Eve. And their dysfunction, functionalness, whatever, summons the Krampus. And the Krampus comes around to try and kill them. Or whatever the Krampus it succeeds. Does. I think it kills the child? Or steals the child? Something like that, yeah. It steals... It's, I think the legend is it steals children to eat them. Mm, something like while that. While it punishes other people. 
punishes bad children, mm-hmm. and Santa r- gives stuff to good children. Mm-hmm. Something like that. But it looks pretty interesting. It had a very uh, Gremlins vibe to it. Sweet. The trailer, which made me excited. Gremlins was like is awesome. Gre- it was like Gremlins meets the Evil Dead meets some other stuff. But yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Should be fun. Cool beans. And that's it for movie news. So in TV news, yep, a bunch of DC stuff happened. Yep. What happened in DC news, buddy? Well, first of all, we had an interview with the cast of the upcoming Legends of Tomorrow. And essentially, we found out that it's going to be a time-traveling Lame. series. And that they're fighting the character Vandal Savage. I have no idea who that is, but time travel is lame. Vandal Savage is a cave- caveman who gets superpowers and becomes super intelligent and an immortal. Sounds dumb. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a pretty decent villain in the com- written in the comics and a lot of the movies and stuff. He's a very imposing villain, but we'll see how they utilize him on the TV show. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep. I'm sure I won't watch it. <laughs> So yeah, we got into that. Uh, we'll have the a link to the full interviews below, so you can hear what all the actors had to say about their characters. Uh, also, Hawkman and Hawk Girl, a picture released of them in their costumes. Was it Hawkerific? They didn't have their wings out. So no. <laughs> exactly. It was guy in spandexerific. <laughs> guy in leather armor. With a. Hawkman and Hawk Girl Helm. Mm. So then finally, possible spoiler, in The Flash, executive producer Gabriel Stanton stated that Tom Cavanaugh's character, Harrison Wells, dies. Might be returning. Oh. Thanks to them <laughs> doing multiple timelines and timeline hopping in the new Flash. So there's a good chance that a different version of him Was will he come already through. dead? Yep. Oh, okay. Maybe he'll die again. Maybe I'm not wrong. And if you want to get into some more spoilers, I'll explain it all to you right now. No, I don't really <laughs> care. <laughs> Next up, The Walking Dead has news about its show that things. people watch. Apparently they're going to start going into some more CGI effects. Yep, the, 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 the zombies are getting rottier. Yep, more rottier, so they need to add stuff in post. Or in pre- <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics got that far ahead that they could free <laughs> render it before anything's shot. <laughs> well, yeah, and then the other news is simply that uh, in an interview, Norman Reedus, Lenny James, and Chandler Riggs were sitting there and they were asked by someone if they have any favorite lines from the show. And they all agreed that their favorite line is coming up in the new season. And something that Chandler Chandler Riggs character Cutter yeah Carl <clears throat> states. Enemy Carl. <laughs> and so yeah, and Lenny James stated that it's utterly and completely brilliant. So, but it's uh, not. It's, it's so uh, not. look forward to that apparent line at yep. some point in the season. I have no clue which line it's going to be because it's an entire season worth of stuff. But it's going to be. I took a massive dump. <laughs> If that's what it is, everybody owes Jeremy five hundred dollars. I'm cool with that. <laughs> so what else do we have on TV news? Preacher. Seth Rogan's upcoming TV adaptation of the Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon's twisted comedy comic, comic book. series. Comic book. Comic series. book yep. series. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Following a conflicted preacher who has escaped from heaven for some reason. Yep. Why would you want to escape from heaven? I don't know, but I'll tell you in the story. Preacher. That's part of the story. You'll find out when you mm-hmm. watch. Anyway, something about an ex-girlfriend, an Irish vampire. And he has the ability to make people do what he wants. Yes. They're telling them stuff. Like take off their clothes. <laughs> and they're literally trying to find God. Either way, it has been picked up by AMC for a 10-episode first season. I think he went the wrong way. And it's set to air mid-2016. Okay. Uh, AMC? So yep, AMC. Be... So I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> In TV news, some more Ash vs. the Evil Dead. They've released episode synopses 
for nine of the ten episodes. We're not going to go over them here here because that's a lot of potential spoilers because they're very, very direct summaries of each episode. But we will have the link for you below if you're curious. Yep. If you just want just have to know what's going to be happening what's gonna in happen. that series. What happened in Marvel TV news? In Marvel TV news, a picture of Daisy Quaid Johnson with her new gauntlets from the mm-hmm. comics. They're sleeker than in the comics. In the comics, with like these big, giant things that are like, oh. but, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, that's to be expected. <laughs> the is. silhouette doesn't work yeah. quite so well in yeah. real life. But, it, but basically, the, these gauntlets are for her character who has these powers to use vibrations so she can focus the vibrations better. So she's a walking vibrator? Pretty Sweet. much. Sweet. For her. Only, like, at the catastrophic levels. Well, if she can control it. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's been... Maybe she's, that's what she needs. In the comics, there's a point where she, I think... I don't remember who she was fighting. I think it was Wolverine. Where she pinpoint accuracy vibrated his heart to explode without touching the rest of his body. And then just walked away. Or something to that effect. It might have been Wolverine. No, I don't remember. You can yell at me in the comments below to tell me who it was. <laughs> tell this jackass who it was. It also, was- they aired a trailer. And we'll have that probably playing this whole time. And, and, and the below. link to it. Also, uh, it releases the series, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., releases on September 29th. Yep, so the end of the month. Yep. Not too far for fans of that show. Mm-hmm. There's also more TV news that released. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Avoidant over here. <laughs> Jessica Jones trailer, 30 Seconds was released for Netflix. I just don't care. That's, that's yeah. all it is. <laughs> and it was basically their announcement trailer, letting you know that the series is coming to Netflix on November 20th, so get ready to binge watch. Because that's when it drops. November 20th. And also, trailer below. I also don't have Netflix, so... Yeah. <laughs> so I really don't care. <laughs> the trailer looks really cool, and if you know anything about the, that character stuff, it might give you chills. That's all I'll say. Especially if it's cold in your room. <laughs> and that's it for TV news. <laughs> nope, we're at that time of the show where we h- give you a bunch of miscellaneous news and then tell you to go away. <laughs> First up, Hearthstone. <laughs> Apparently somebody has cracked an insanely long single turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, courtesy of Knife Juggler and Dread Steed. Yep, two cards. Basically, the way it works... Is if you have two people on each, a person on each side, one per, each of them play a knife juggler and each of them play a dread steed, and watch the chaos begin, as it just pings each other off, left and right. And you can just watch it and do the level links. Yeah, we have it down there. But be reminded, it's a very long turn. It's like sixteen minutes long. One turn, sixteen minutes. Have fun. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I didn't. I just kind of skimmed through. To yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, IGN has Ooh. has a thing, probably an article. It's not an article. Or a video. It's a video. As it says YouTube right there. Yeah. A video. <laughs> Way to be on, prepared, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, keep it down, you. <laughs> on the history of awesome uh, from 1992. Yep. Is it 92 onwards or just 92? It, they're just talking about 1992. Oh, so very, very Mostly video games relevant. from 1992. Very relevant. They talked about Mortal Kombat. And a few other stuff. Okay. So go watch it. Yep. It's pretty cool. And it might make you feel old. If you're if you were alive <laughs> in 1992. Yep. <coughs> also, Wes Craven passed away a few weeks ago. Was it? A, I thought it was last week. Might have been. I think it was like two weeks ago now. But anyway, mm-hmm. ChillerTV.com remembers Wes Craven through 13 people who work with him. We'll have the link below to the article. To hear what they had to say. What do you think they had to say? He was a nice guy, and that's all they can say. Otherwise, they're assholes. <laughs> well, he talked about his genius and how he actually really was, yeah, a nice guy. <laughs> Even though he came up with some pretty perverted shit. <laughs> and some awful movies. <laughs> well, yeah, it's some pretty good. It's a good article. Good tribute. Yep. Go read it. Go read all of it. And what else do we have for them? Uh, Castlevania's. Koji Igarashi mm-hmm. made a level on Super Mario Maker. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah, I think he made it in like an hour. 
Well, that's about right. I mean. <laughs> then, finally. Finally. This latest news. We don't actually have anything for you, but we were going to talk about it. Game of Thrones. Yep. The new book. Mm-hmm. So it's actually Song of Ice and Fire, not Game of Thrones. There we go. <laughs> Game of Thrones was the name of the first book. Gotcha. Song of Ice and Fire is a whole collection. But anyway, mm-hmm. according to his Spanish publisher, the next novel should be out next year. Should be. Should be. But this is all hearsay. Well, he's <laughs> he's probably got a better yeah, handle on does. it than most, most anybody people, else. Yeah. But he writes incredibly slowly. Mm-hmm. And he's awful at release dates. But a year gap, you know, it's... How many years has it been? Four or five since the last book? I don't know. You're the one who actually... Yeah, I, I read it. But that was a long <laughs> ass time ago. Mm-hmm. So it, it's about time for him to be done with it. And hopefully, it's... It, well, it's probably going to be another thousand pages. But. Yeah. And then he can start on the next one right away. Just keep going. Just <laughs> release it and just keep going. Indeed. So yeah, that's everything yep. for you. That's episode thirteen. Your everything. news. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff. Yep. Below, there's links for things too. Yep. Or you can click in this little thing over there, like the, our little icon in the far corner of the edge of the screen. So subscribe. Yep. That and watch works. watch all our other ones again, mm-hmm. or for the first time. Yeah, because we'll have a link to our last episode. And again, for movie reviews, whatever, there, something, I don't know. Bye.